Hello everyone and welcome to the latest of our Instagram lives. Um, today we're doing something a bit different and I'm going to be joined by the wonderful Sarah Austin of the Really Helpful Club and hopefully she is going to tell me, she's going to send me a request to join any minute now and um, she can join me for a conversation on all things back to business. It always takes a while, doesn't it, to get to these to come through. Um, so looking forward to her joining me. Sarah set up the Really Helpful Club, I think it was back in 2014, so a couple of years before I set up the Return Hub. Here we are. The Really Helpful Club has sent me a request. View request, go live. Be here any moment. <clears throat> Hi, Sarah. Hi, Claire. Thanks for joining, everyone. Sarah. Hey. Hello. Good morning, or good afternoon, I should say. I, I, beautiful, I, I think, sunny afternoon. I, I think we're just about afternoon, aren't we? I, I always think these... um. When we do these lives, I mean, usually I'm on the top of the screen doing the, doing the interview <laughs> rather than so it feels rather odd to be at the bottom. I feel like, sad, feel like I need to stand on tips. <laughs> well, a massive welcome. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, I was just saying this is a bit of a different Instagram live for us because we are, um, well, I think this is the, exactly right. The first one we've done where you've been on the Return Hub instagram yes. live rather than the other way around um but we're going to talk about all things back to business not only from a return from the really helpful club's perspective but also from your perspective sarah because you've got the most fabulous story um like so many of the amazing women that we work with you had a super successful career in the financial services um s sector and um and then became an entrepreneur so i'm gonna hand over to you sarah to tell us a little Gosh. bit about your story if that's okay well, I, I, absolutely. And so, um, well, a few things, actually. I'm just going to rewind and, and, and shove it straight back at you, actually, is that because I, I, I know you were a guest on our show. Um, you were one of my <laughs> early guests about a year and a half ago. I've, I've done 55 interviews oh, wow. on, on Instagram Live. No, so I feel a real pro if I was at the top of the screen. I have to say, being at the bottom of the screen, <laughs> being, um, being your guest is quite a new experience. So let's, uh, let, let's see how it goes. Um, and, and thank you very much for that generous introduction. It is it's really nice to, to be here and lovely to be able to talk to your community and, and see how we can you know connect with one another. And I mean, I really looking forward to you talking about the return hub and, and the resources that you offer and how you help people and especially women to to navigate their next step but i think we have a fantastic collaboration and i think there's there's so much synergy between what we're doing which is you know mm. it's, it's just resonating so really nicely so um yeah so so, so thanks for that thanks for that introduction um and uh, hope it sort of lives up to the <laughs> lives up to the, <laughs> the brief as it were um and um so i think you know for for everyone that's watching, my story is, you know, it, it's, it's a very sort of well-trodden one, one that many people will, will recognise. So, you know, so I started out, I went from school to university, I read classics and French um, at Oxford, and then I joined um, Bearing Asset Management, as it was then, um, where I managed European equities for over a decade. And I think that the city is a great place to start your career. I absolutely loved it. It came with opportunity. You know, it was exciting. It was challenging, intellectually stimulating. Mm -hmm. And it always had a buzz. I, I loved it. I bounced out of bed and went into work, even if it was quite early, um, every morning. And But when I had my first child, I sort of took the opportunity, I guess, to pause, reassess where I wanted to be. and um, And like I think many people, especially women, I took an extended career break and really to, to focus on my family. And now I have a 14-year-old and a 19-year-old, and I've been very lucky, to, I guess, to, to be able to devote my, myself to them. Um, but, you know, I guess it's, you know, it's interesting what, what, you're, what you're talking about here is, yes, I have also made my own return to work. So I took my, my career break. It was very much you know, a positive choice, something that you know, I wanted to do. And... What was the trigger? Why, why start your own business? And I had the, the idea for Really Help the Club because, you know, what I mean, my light bulb moment was when I realized that you know, everything that we're ever looking for in life is all about personal recommendation. It's about social affirmation. It, it's, uh, when I began to realize it's about the power of the network, the power of leveraging on our own networks and being able to access solutions and, and, and bluntly just making our lives that much easier to, to, to navigate. And like I think all sort of, you know, all ideas really, it's pretty simple. It, it, it's pretty straightforward. And, and so then I, you know, went and launched it. Um, and when I launched it, what is now eight years ago, 
you know, my vision, my ambition was to create a community where it was for like-minded people, you know, a place where you could share advice, a place where you could connect with others. Um, you know, what we have now is an online community, which is a unique network for curious, open-minded people. And, you know, and, and I guess, you know, my vision or our vision as a business is to be that supportive community, you know, one that delivers trusted resources, valuable connections. And I think really importantly, at every age and every stage in life to help you navigate those key transitions in life. And I think that's really where it kicks in in terms of that, you know, that, that overlap with um, Return Hub and what you're doing to, to help people as well. So here we are, you know, eight years on, we have grown into this vibrant network, this collaborative community, mm. it's, you know, it's unique. Um, and Can I ask all... Sarah, is the, sorry to interrupt the community, is it very much London based? Um, well, it started as London. I'm, I'm Wimbledon based. Um, and we have grown entirely by word of mouth. So, um, so you know, it's completely self-selecting. So, you know, it's not mm -hmm. for you. You know, I'm, I'm far too old to, to get, you know, upset about that. You know, find, go off and, you know, find your own thing. And so it is it more, rather than being sort of geographically orientated or gender orientated or anything else, it's completely self-selecting. So, you know, it's about finding, I, I, I'm always very reluctant to use that word tribe, but it is about finding your thing, where you feel like you belong. Um, and it's a very inclusive um, community, one where, you know, it's completely non-judgmental. This is about, you, you know, if you think about those key transition points, they'll really resonate, I think, with, you know, with, with, um, with your audience, which is really, we're here to help you. Remember what it's like, you know, when you, um, when you first enter the workplace or when you have your your children mm. when you take that career break and you want to return back to work you know and then maybe you want to start a business perhaps you um you know hitting all those midlife challenges you know we never used to talk about menopause we were really early to the menopause conversation but these are really big transition points uh, in a person's life and you know and, and especially for women and and then of course you know i think the conversation about the aging population is really starting to take hold now and mm. we're there you know, when it, whenever you enter a new stage in your life, it's quite discombobulating and you need to go and find your thing, your people, the resources, the thing that helps you to find those solutions and, and navigate your way through it. So that's rather a sort of long winded way of saying, um, are we just London? We've got a huge density of people in London and, you know, we've got a, a community now of over 15,000 Gosh, um, wow. And we have a wonderful team with, I'll chat about those in a sec, but, um, you know, we're now in Hampshire and Surrey and Sussex with boots on the ground. But we get people mm. tuning into our webinars, for example, from, you know, everything from, you know, the Lake District to, um, you know, South Africa to Australia. You know, bluntly, we don't care. You know, if, if, we're, if we're helping you, um, guess yeah. what? We're, we're, we're really happy to, to help you. And that sort of, um, you, you know, that, that's what we're about. Yeah, well, the conversations that you have are important for so many people. It doesn't matter where in the world you're based. If you can tune in, there's going to be something for so many people to benefit from. Um, and obviously, and talking of that, obviously, I think it was a couple of years after you launched, because we didn't launch until 2016, where we really first spoke about your fabulous Back to Business event. Mm. And that obviously really resonated with us because that's, that's what we do. That's what it says on the tin at the return half. And, <laughs> um, and it was just such a fantastic event to have in person. And you had some fantastic speakers. Can you tell us a little bit about how that particular offering and event came about? Yeah. Well, um, you know, kind of rewind slightly. You know, we, um, we bring our network together with, with events for our community and, and, and for corporates for schools. And, you know, together with my wonderful team, with Caroline running the events, the team in Hampshire I've just talked about, Rona and Francesca, who run Really Help the Club um, in Hampshire, Surrey and Sussex. What we're doing with the entire events programme is, you know, is offering you a great, get rid of that, sorry. Um, and, and um, you know, a great way to learn something new, always an, an ability to extend your network. And make those new connections and with that you know that comes confidence and and our three sort of um our events really are sort of centered around the three pillars of our business which is your well-being your prosperity and your home and as i mentioned 
you know, they, we were very early to the menopause conversation, so everything around well-being, um, your home life, you know, your parenting, family conversations, etc. But a really core area of where um, we feel we really make a difference is helping people take their next step in their careers. And I remember vividly where, where I, I guess the idea came to me. We, um, you know, we, we, uh, we held a, a lunch at the London Rowing Club back in, I think it was May 2015. And what it was really to do was to mark the, um, the first year that the women's boat race moved from Henley to London. So, you know, catching up with, with, with the men. And what I felt, it was, it was symbolic in so many ways. You know, this was about keeping women engaged in sport, you know, not just, not just women, but young, um, young girls and you know, keeping them involved in sport, but also about empowering women and empowering the younger generation you know, in every aspect of their lives. And it was at this lunch, it was a room full of 100 talented, well-educated, connected women that I realized I wanted to create a platform that would inspire and empower women to take not just their next step and navigate their way through life, but to, make, but, but to navigate their way um, in their career, careers path as well. And that is how the Back to Business program began. Fantastic. So tell us, when, when people go to the, to the Back to Business event, which obviously I've been to a few times, mm. tell us what they can expect. Well, we've got this year's coming up. Um, it's it, which is coming up on the 1st of March, Wednesday, the 1st of March. And I have to say, I think it's one of the best things we do. It's we've had, you know, obviously we saw you in person, whatever, you know, it was, was three years ago. And then we did, mm -hmm. uh, we moved online with, um, with the whole pandemic. Um, and it was a great thing to do because of course that opened up the, op the opportunity to be able to be able to tune in from wherever and, and whenever and stuff. But there's nothing like doing it in person and we are mm -hmm. so excited to be back in person i have to say a bit of trepidation you know we're sort of nervous we um we always get nervous about anything we ever do which is not a bad thing and um so it's on wednesday the first of march um it's in putney so back in putney um and it's at Rehampton university where they've got the most beautiful um conference center the overriding theme is unlocking your future and again it's you know it's symbolic this is about you, you know, it, it's about the person attending. It's not about me. It's not about the speakers. It's not about the uh, the people who deliver the amazing workshops and stuff. This is all about the attendee, and this is about them taking control of their career, whether that's as an entrepreneur, returning back to the workplace, to the corporate world. Um, it's around finding your financial freedom, which I think is so important. It's all about building your confidence, because when you have that confidence you can take on the world, you can do whatever you want to do, and you can navigate your, your next step forward. So what are you going to get from this year? Well, it's a day of inspirational talks, expert workshops, and loads of, of opportunities to, to make new connections. And guess what? Everybody leaves with a smile on their face. It's, it's, it's just such an uplifting day. It, it's great fun. And so we've got a um, lineup of great speakers. We're going Come to on, hear who from the speakers. Who are the speakers? So, um, and, but I have to say, when, when you were, when you were in that panel, oh God, it was brilliant when, when you spoke. I think it was four, five years ago. Everyone has that. They lose context of, of time these days. But um, so, who have we got? Um, we've got Rob Gardner, um, and who I know you will know from uh, from financial services. And Absolutely. Rob is really a friend of our business. Amazing entrepreneur, so inspirational. Amazing. There you are. So. You know, I, I hope that's going to, to resonate with your audience. And, and what Rob is going to do, I mean, he's just an inspiration to so many people. And, and, and you'll know, you know, he's going to talk about his, his journey from, you know, financial services, where, of course, he was head of investment at St. James's Place, to Rebalance Earth. And his focus all on biodiversity, carbon capture. And I think really importantly, bringing it down to us as individuals, not just as businesses, what we can each do to make a positive difference and create that world that's worth living in. So that's, uh, that's Rob. Um, we've got Steph Betts, Stephanie Betts. Um, and Stephanie is founder of London and Avalon, uh, which for many people might know it as, as Josephine Home. And it is the home of luxury and beautiful, sustainable um, bed and bath linen. And, and I love the title of her talk. It's how to build a, a business from your kitchen table. <laughs> um, so, so this is for anybody who's just got even that spark of an idea or they are 
looking, are they running their side hustle? They're looking to take it to the next stage or they're running a successful business already and they're thinking, well, I want to take it to the next level, but I want to hear it from someone who, who's done it. And, um, and so, you know, really super excited to hear from her. We've got Baroness Nikki Morgan. So we're thrilled to have her on board. And of course, I think she brings a, a really interesting perspective and she's going to be talking about the importance of women in the workplace in the 2020s. So again, I think really, really Fabulous. pertinent, particularly around this conversation of getting people back. You know, how do we encourage people back into the workplace? Well, you know, it starts with government and then it starts with corporates. And so um, really looking forward to her perspective. Um, and then we also are gonna hear from Eliana Seitz from Ytree, our sponsors. And her talk is, um, is all about finding your financial freedom. And I'm really excited that the conversation really seems to be getting underway now about how each and every one of us needs to become financially literate. We all need to feel that financial security. Well, the only way you're going to do it is to get on top of it, treat it a bit like getting fit at the gym. You need to know your position. You need to understand what you're doing. So I'm really excited um, to hear from her. And then um, if that wasn't enough, uh, we're going to have Esther Stanhope. Who oh, is, she's amazing. Did you know Esther? She <laughs> is amazing. If it's she, a party yeah. that needs starting, Esther, <laughs> Esther's, <laughs> Esther's, your, actually, Esther's your man, but yeah. Esther's your woman. Um, and yeah. your, your nervous, I imagine, from, um, from the Return Hub is um, imposter syndrome is a killer. Yeah, um, absolutely. I have so many amazing women who come to us who are, you know, educated up to the eyeballs, have got experience at some of the toughest, most demanding organizations in the world and have kind of thrived and survived in these firms. And when they come to me, and I say this, not all women, but so many, they tell me, they start to tell me all the things that they can't do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, yeah. and it's extraordinary. And I, I have to um, tell them, sometimes I say to them, what you need to do is print off your CV, stick it to the fridge. And every time you open the door, have a look at it and think, God, who's that amazing? <laughs> what an amazing CV. And remind themselves of all the things that they've actually achieved. So we all, I think, or so many of us definitely have um, experience of the imposter syndrome. You, you, but it's so true, isn't it? And you know, show me someone that hasn't, doesn't, mm -hmm. you know, I'd say that every point in your day, at some point or other, you're going to feel it. And you have to, you know, you have to have to... Um, you have to have, find a way to navigate it. So, and you'll know, I mean, you, 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 you've heard Esther speak. It's, um, she puts such a positive, um, such a positive lens on it. And I, uh, and I think, you know, she will be just brilliant. And, and she's going to talk about not just women in imposter syndrome, but men in imposter syndrome too. So, um, you know, so, so really excited about that. And if that wasn't enough, we're going to give everyone a lovely lunch plenty of um, coffee breaks, plenty of networking. I hate the word networking, but you have plenty of opportunities to, to connect with lovely you know, people. Yeah. And I would say, you never know. You know, actually come to the thing, you never know who you're going to meet. It could be your next business partner, your next client, um, your next, uh, you know, your employer, your employee. You know, and if nothing else, just actually meet really interesting people to, to go away with and, you know, and, and to, yeah. to take from it. And then we sort of reconvene in the afternoon and we run these roundtable workshops and everything from digital marketing. So we've got the team from Vodafone coming, talking about, you know, you've been told how to start your business from your kitchen table. And now it's how do you market this thing? How do you grow it? How do you do stuff? Um, we've got a, a, another great workshop from Ytree on, on um, those steps towards your financial freedom. Uh, we've got um, Victoria McLean talking about LinkedIn. And um, then we have got Alex Webb talking about finding your North Star, which is a great, great topic title. So um, lots. And then, of course, because a big theme of the, the conference is around sustainability. Of course, we've, you know, we've, we've, we've got, a, um, we've got a, a thing about that, too. So, um, you know, I, I defy someone to say that there isn't something in it for them. Fantastic. Yes, because it's for people who are wanting to go back into a corporate career potentially, as much yes. as it is about people thinking about stepping up um, into the kind of world of entrepreneurship. Of um, course. And all the fun and games that that, <laughs> that brings with it. Um, and what, some of the tools obviously that we've developed at the Return Hub through the Career Academy are very, very sort of aligned to the re relaunching a corporate career, particularly within financial services. And you mentioned Victoria McLean there, the brilliant, hugely talented 
uh, businesswoman and uh, force of nature that is Victoria McLean, who we've worked very closely with in the past. And she's been um, a fantastic collaborator as well with some of the content that we have on the Career Academy on the Return Hub website. Um, so hopefully lots and lots of resources there for anybody who is uh, wanting to step back onto the career ladder. Now, you've obviously been running this event now for a few years, and there have, I'm sure, been some fantastic stories of people who've... Um, Oh, have I lost you there, Sarah? Can you, are you there? Sarah, is that me or you? Um, that's are a very good question. Yes, I, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still there, but I can, I can see the things swirling around and I'm thinking, oh my God. <laughs> 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 Thank God it's all... We're still here, we're still here. Because I did it, just want, I, I, sort of, I know it's a story that you mentioned reason, to me. I'll just come back on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> These things, they're just to challenge us. It's that imposter syndrome again. Oh, we get here. This. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think, I mean, I've, oh, I've lost I don't know whether this is me or said, you, you know, Sarah. Kind of, there was a story. I don't know. You know, it's amazing because we managed to navigate our way through lockdown. I had, you know, two children doing, um, two children doing schooling from home, um, probably watching, you know, videos and all that stuff and things when they were probably meant to be doing yeah. classes and stuff. And my husband running his business from here too. And we went through without a hitch. <laughs> now here we are. I'm the only person challenging the Wi-Fi network. And guess what? It, it wants to collapse. Um, so what sort of feedback do we get? Well, um, it is, it's always amazing. I mean, and again, it's um, because what we find is that some people say, I'm not ready. You know, I'm, I, I, I we're going back to that imposter syndrome thing again, but you know, but I, I don't know really. I, I, I don't think I, I can do this. And it, this, this story I'm going to share with you actually um, always reminds me why I do what I do and it makes me want to get up and do more of it and so we had a, a wonderful yeah. lady who came to our conference back in 2018 I think it was 2018 and and um oh running out of battery let's just just pop in battery here we go um she she wrote to me afterwards and she said you know I, I didn't want to tell you at the time but I I um you know when I came to your conference I was at rock bottom I was about to get divorced. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. And I was really, I was really struggling. And she said she, she came to the conference and it was one of those pivotal moments. You know, we didn't answer, mm -hmm. answer all her questions. Of course we didn't. No, no one possibly could. But she walked into a room. It felt friendly. It felt collaborative. She could feel, you know, this sort of rich, diverse sort of room of people. And it was all about her and what she was going to do. And she wrote to me about a year later and she said, now I can tell you what I did with that conference. And she said, you know, I've gone on to have a portfolio career. I've managed to save enough money to get back on my feet and I'm about to take out a mortgage and I'm no longer feel bound to my now ex-husband. And to me, it is worth, it is worth putting on that conference just for that story. And, you know, just for that person. And, you know, and again, you know, and I think often they then take their next, their first step and then they're ready maybe for the return hub. You know, they need to mm. sort of take, take that first step. It, it, I mean, it's fascinating. And then we have, you know, we had another one. It's always like the two ends of the spectrum. You know, it's, it, we had a, um, we had someone who came again, I think it was 2018 or, or, or 2019. She was running a very successful business um, and she was looking to take it to the next level, but she didn't know where to go for funding. And she'd only just heard of really help the club. So she, you know, she comes along but, you know, what am I coming to? All that sort of thing. Um, and it was at that conference that I'd say she made the connection of her life. You know, certainly of her business life and you know, perhaps of her life. And it led to her raising not just thousands of pounds of, of financial support, but hundreds of thousands of pounds. So, so I think we help people from you know, all sorts of levels. And I know, you know, but most of all, it is, it's the noise in the room. It's the smiles on the faces. It's the yeah. stories you hear afterwards. Yeah. But it's about that untapped talent and you don't know what it is. And I think that is where, you know, I, I mean, I want to sort of throw it back at you in the, the Career Academy, because I think, you know, the, the conversation is changing at government level. It's changing at societal level. But there is so much untapped talent, whether it's these you know, early retirees, it's, it's women um, you know, who are well educated, they're talented, they're great at what they do. But how do we encourage them back in? And I think that is you know, that's where you guys come in and you are, you know, we're, we're just a step in the, in the process. But I think what you're doing is amazing. So, so tell us a bit more about the 
academy and what, what they get from that? So at the so the Career Academy, first of all, to say it's a it's a totally free suite of online digital tools to help anybody with career relaunch or career development, um, and that was really developed during lockdown as we had a little bit more time on our hand than we perhaps would have liked. And we've always very much felt that you know we can't get everyone a job, right? We've got over four thousand candidates on our books. We you know, much as we'd love to, that's not realistic. But I felt very passionately when I set the business up that we had to have something to offer everybody that will help everybody on their career, career journey, whether it's a career relaunch, whether it's career development, whether it's a career pivot, whatever it is. And there are some basic skills that we have expertise in that are directly focused on the financial services industry that will help everybody regain some sense of control and some sense of agency over their career journey at whatever point they're in. And obviously the obvious tools are things like CV writing, um, masterclasses, LinkedIn profile writing, interview skills. Um, there are lots of assessments on there. Um, some of them are very interactive assessments, content, um, and blog from career experts that we've partnered with. So there's lots of really rich content. It's totally free. Um, for anyone who's interested, just go and have a look at it. You, you get there through the Return Hub website and you'll see the button for the Career Academy. Um, we also have the Career Academy for Business, which is all about going in and working with companies to help with them with things like interview training and um, coaching hiring managers when they have individuals returning from parental leave. Um, but really, there is something hopefully for everybody on their career journey at that mid and senior level. And as I say, it's totally free. And That's I think amazing, what I would say is just to, your, just to your earlier point is... I think for, for both of us where we're at, the Back to Business Conference and the Return Hub with the Career Academy, it doesn't matter what point of your journey you're on. By coming along to the Back to Business event or signing up for the Return Hub, mm. you're not deciding that you want to go back to work. You're taking very often those first steps in thinking about how does that feel? How is it going to work? Is it going to work? And doing your research and having those conversations that will help hopefully get you to a place where you're a little bit further along that journey. Totally, and I totally agree. And it's really it is, it, it's a it's sort of, yeah, it, it's gone. Well, I was just going to say, it's, it's, I think it can sometimes feel a bit like, oh, I'm not ready to go back to work. But you're not signing up for a job. You're not signing a, an employment contract. You're just beginning that bit of exploration thinking, I might be a year away. I might be two years away. And certainly in terms of getting a job, if it's going back into a corporate role, that whole process can take a really long time. You know, it's a competitive market. Getting yourself ready for the right opportunity at the right time can take, you know, it can take, it can take many, many months sometimes. So sort of just beginning to start off and getting everything in line and getting your head in the right place and starting to understand what are the tools that you need to get where you want to be ultimately is, is there's no time like the present. Completely. And, and I guess, you know, kind of rewind and sort of put it from, you know, my, my side of the, the picture, as it were, you know, if, if, if someone's watching this and thinking, well, I want to do something. I mean, I've, I've come from an exercise class this morning and we were talking about the conference and three lovely women, you know, again, that sort of, you could just feel sort of the talent. You know, if we had more time, I bet you they'd, have, they'd said, oh, I used to be this or whatever. Um, why wouldn't they just sign up to the Return Hub and, you know, free resource, and helping them, you know, anything that's there that helps you to, to reskill. And it's back to that confidence thing. You know, the more skilled you feel, the more proactive you feel you're being. I think that the confidence mm. is just building subconsciously. The hardest thing of all mm. is I think sort of cogitating about it at home, thinking, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, write, this, um, gonna write this CV or I'm gonna write this covering letter. Mm. And I'm prepared to bet that, mm. I mean, I. I can't remember the last time I wrote a CV or, or, or a covering letter because it's so long ago, you know, when I went into that, that job at Bearings. And so, you know, why wouldn't you want to come to, to you, you know, your experts at this thing and your current? I think part of the conversation is how do I get myself back to being current? What, what does the workplace look like in, um, you know, now in 2023? And I can feel this, there's all this conversation about this opportunity. They want these, these, um, you know, these returners back. But what do I need to be doing myself to get myself ready? And you're absolutely right. It doesn't happen overnight. So I think the resource you're offering is just superb, you know, really, really valuable um, and, you know, worth looking at and, and saying, yeah, I'm just going to take my next step. It's all about baby steps add up to, to big ones. The next step. Yeah. And so talking about the next step, Sarah, 
How do people register mm. for the Back to Business event? Or how do they, what do they have to do? How do they get a ticket? Oh, well, that's great. Um, so um, they need to pop onto the Really Help the Club website. Um, if you look at the homepage, hard to miss the sort of great big um, sort of sign there that, that talks about the Back to Business Conference. So, so that'd be the first place you could go to. Um, we'll also, uh, I don't think we've put it in actually, so I'm being a bit remiss here, we, we'll put it into our link tree. So anyone that's watching now um, or later on, if you, if you share this, they can pop onto our, our link tree and there'll be a link there. Um, we obviously talk about it quite a bit on our social media channels. There's always a link there. So, so essentially what we're doing with all those links is taking you to the um, to the event itself on our website for you to learn a bit more and, and decide if you know this is how you you, you know, is for you and you'd like to come. And then you brilliant, all right, lovely. Um, and we will look forward to seeing you on the first of March. And we'll obviously be in, we'll obviously be in touch with you and you know let you know where to come and you know and what to expect and everything else. But um, but we're very good at the comms. Caroline's brilliant at those, and um, so yeah, it, it's great. So we look we'll look forward to seeing lots of people on the day. Brilliant. Well, thanks so much, Sarah. It's always a total pleasure chatting to you and hearing about the event. Um, very best of luck with it, and everyone who's watching, please do go and check out the Really Helpful Club website. It is a really brilliant event. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you. Well, thank you, Dominic. And, it, and I'm going to turn also, I mean, I know a lot of your viewers will already be familiar with Return Hub, but if you're not, you need to be. And so, and thank, <laughs> thank you. you. You know, we, we love having your support, whether it's there in person, you know, whether it's, you know, you have a, a brilliant profile on the Really Help the Club website. And so we really enjoy, um, you know, signposting our audience to you as well. And I think, you know, the resource you're offering is, is, is fantastic. So, um, and we thank you for your support for the conference as well. Thank you, Sarah. See you soon. Bye. See you soon. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone. Bye.